welcome back to another episode of Hello Tetzel. I am your host, Olavo Ayumi from the Mass Communication Department. She is my co-host, Tirali Rebecca from the Linguistic Department. And we are so thrilled to be hosting the summer episode 2024. On that note, we would also like to welcome all the students to the, uh, our Tetzel family, especially the freshers. So, um, speaking of summer and classes, how are you coping up with your classes these days? To be very honest, mm -hmm. it's extremely hard to concentrate in classes because of the heat. True. And I've also had to miss a lot of my classes this uh, week mm -hmm. because I had heat rash. So I think this episode is important to spread awareness mm -hmm. on taking to students to take care, take extra care of themselves. True. So. Uh Speaking of taking care of yourself, let's talk about hygiene, yeah. like the summer hygiene, because summer and winter, they are like two different seasons, and but hygiene is really important. And say, for example, hygiene as in uh, not just cleaning your rooms, but coming freshly to classes, taking a bath in the morning. Yeah, I think that a shower in the morning is extremely important. Very important. Take shower in the morning. Uh, and then apply some products, mm -hmm. take care of your skin, apply sunscreen. And we have very um, toxic mentality with the men that mm. men should not put on green. I think that is so 2016 yeah. and we should move on from that stereotype. Because the fact that like we're under the same sun and then the heat, the heat from the sun, the UV rays, it's getting like directly heat on our skin. Be regardless of gender, regardless That's of what? status, you are going to get burned from the sun. So it's important that you apply the sun, the sunscreen, not only on your face, but your whole body just to, you know, prevent because prevention is better than cure. Yeah. And it's also important to um, take bath after your, take shower after your classes are over, mm. but don't do it immediately after you reach your home. Take rest for around five to 10 minutes let your body cool down and then shower because yes that's true because uh, there uh, like uh, when your body's like still hot yeah. you're still heated and you get in touch with uh direct water water you can get like uh, sunburned the sunburn will be like uh, taint on your body you can even get prickly heats and even acne the body acne yeah so it's really good that it, it, it would be better if you're like cautious to let your body cool down. You can cool down your body by either staying under the fan, AC, or drinking water. Yeah. Because water is really, really <clears throat> important and essential. Staying hydrated in summer is very important. For real, like, for real. Staying hydrated at all times is important, but it's extra important in summer. Yes, because uh, like we're, since we're talking about heat, our body is like, though our body is made of like, say, 70% of water, mm. it is just uh, a liquid inside the body that's not going to make it functional for you to stay hydrated. Yes. You should keep in mind that hydration is really important. Not just, if you're not a big fan of drinking water, you can go for this electrolytes and ORS. Keeping in mind that though they are, though they are not equivalent to drinking water, it's still better than not drinking water at all. Yes. <clears throat> like water is too beneficial For water real. is mother true so uh, speaking of uh, uh, being hydrated how many like liters do you drink in a day i don't know about liters but but i do take at least eight cups of water a day my cup is this much and i think i take yeah i take a lot of water that's good that's really good you should continue that. Yeah, what about you? Uh, I drink at least two liters in a day. Like two liters? More than one liter, less than two liters. But the fact that like wherever you go, the water is always there for you. It's always waiting for you. Water is not like more than hookup culture. For real. Where you take it, have fun, and then forget about it. Mm. No, it's, it's more always, than that. It's always waiting for you. It's yeah. always it's always there for you. It's just that you have to go and tuck it. Yeah, and it will never cheat on you. It will never. It is forever loyal. Be it chilled or be it in a normal temperature. Water is the new green flag. <laughs> <laughs> a walking, a, a steel green carpet. Yeah. <laughs> 
so yeah go and get your uh, water bottles filled go and get speaking of getting your water bottles filled if you are from the Tetsu community you are aware that we have water filters available three water yes. filters available one in the e floor d floor is it e or d floor and one at the hotspot and the other at the near the library area the tech square yes. so you're already getting chilled water it's really chilled so like don't hesitate it's 100 percent uh clean mm -hmm. so go and get your go and bring your water bottles um and empty water bottles from home from your hostel from your pgs from your rent if you if you're if you don't want to go and purchase you know mineral water store-bought water you can always get it refilled here at the college and speaking of uh coming back to hygiene i am not a clean freak to be okay. honest, like I am not a clean freak, but I'm very uh, the mentality of mine. Okay. <laughs> the mentality of mine seeing people, you know, like there are a lot of people, there are a lot of students in Tetsu College. Mm. So seeing like uh, my in, in a classroom, like 50 to 60 to 70 sometimes, in that one packed classrooms where the windows are closed, and every 50 to 70 students having their own individual body order, and on top of that. Some students, they apply strong deodorants inside the classroom when it is so packed. Yes, I so understand that like the body odor is too much to take. Yeah. But you should be considerate. Just look around and you know like keep keep the windows open. Yeah, yeah. Keep the windows open. That that is something I would suggest. Even if the uh you know like those a bad odor is coming from the outside. Yeah, yeah. Please and the, the um, amalgamation of uh, different scents can trigger uh, sensitive people. Yes, like headaches. Yeah. So I think it's important to use um, enough only yes. and apply your products on a clean body. Yeah, true, true. Take care, clean yourself first, and then apply those products. Personally, um, I love the sand sampler. Mm. It's very, it's the best thing about it is it's from our college, managed by the BBA girls. Mm, the ladies. It, uh, it was, they started when uh, they participated for the Educare Center that was for the women entrepreneurship. Yeah, yeah. And I heard they won like uh, as a best media team and they also won as a best team because they were properly strategized their mm -hmm. team and it was like the details that they gave out to the uh, institution, they were like really pleased with it. So, uh, and the thing is, it's not a spray, it's a perfume, perfume. perfume. And it's this much, it's pocket friendly, yes. travel friendly, and it's also student friendly. Yes. The price is very student friendly. It's only like 100 to 150. 50. So they have an Instagram page, so you can always go and approach the sand samplers. Uh, the thing about it is like, yes, we get it. You're conscious about your body odor, but you have to be mindful about the person next to you, the mm -hmm. ones behind you. Because, you know, like when you're applying, uh, some perfume, some certain odor, it's not favorable to everyone of yeah. you, to everyone around you. So you have to like, when you spray, it might get on the person next to you, not the, uh, the people around you. So when you get it a roll on, it's just on your body. And it's easier for you to reapply it when you need it. Exactly. And yes, we get it. It's really difficult to uh, apply products, to reapply products on your underarms mm. when it's covered. So, you know, like, I'm pretty sure we have washrooms in our college, so you can use the washrooms and, you know, like, just reapply it if you think uh, it's a must or that uh, you need to reapply the theorines on your underarms, you know, because uh, it's natural, the body odor is yeah, natural. Yeah, that's natural. You don't have to feel ashamed. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not your fault. It's just your hormones and everything. So I think it's yes. okay. But not taking care of yourself is your fault. Yes, that would be a huge mistake from your side. Yeah. So, you know, like, it's really important that uh, hygiene, you take care of yourself, take care of your body, not just by being hydrated or being mindful about your health, mm. but also, you know, your appearance, your, the odor. It's, I think it's really important because... Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, 
it's nice to look clean, but mm. it's even better to smell clean. Mm, for real. That way you're going to even, uh, you know, feel confident. Yeah, you're going to even, exactly. that will even boost your uh, self-esteem. If you're, if you continuously be conscious of the way you um, smell, the way you look, I mean, it's summer, it's not yet summer. It's, yeah, this is just the highlight. June. I don't know when this podcast is going to get uploaded, but it's June right now. It's, so like, you know, like the August, September, October, it's yet to come. And that during those days, even July, you're going to feel the real heat. And this is just an introduction to heat. And if it's already like this, if the temperature is already like this, then, you know, you have to just be mindful because hyperthermia, it's really, it's really, really common these days. When you get dehydrated, you know, and you're under a lot of stress and you have so many things going on on your mind, you sometimes, you know, like you become a weak. Yeah. You just become weak you, physically, mentally. You become weak, so it's important that like you take. Oh, please be hydrated. It's really important. Hydration is really yourself. important. Take care. Of it's yourself. not just about you, but it's also for your friends, for the people surrounding you. I think taking care of yourself is more, more than just for yourself. Mm. For real. It's actually very selfish of you if you don't take care of yourself. Yeah, well, like that's that's. That's really careless of you. That's yeah. just a red red flag. Yeah, huge red flag. <laughs> huge red flag, bro. You're taking, you're being very mindful of people around you, but you're forgetting to take care of yourself. Mm, that's that's something to think that's about. That's dumb. That's kind of like. What do you mean? I don't know where it's. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where it's kind of sus. And if your friend has very bad body odor, instead of pointing it out in public, you can always tell them, right? Yes. That's true. Or you can always tell them when uh, you guys are alone. Mm -hmm. And it's always good that like uh, you're correcting your friends. Yeah. I mean, this is the thing I love about my if friends. If it's a good friend, they're going to appreciate you yes, yes, for, for real. mentioning it. And they're not going to like feel bad. Oh my God, like, does she really have to say that? If she really cares about you, if he or she really cares about you, they are going to tell it to you. They're yeah. going to, uh, you know, approach you. And there are certain ways to approach uh, people because keeping in mind that every one of us have different mentality. Some are very strong mentally. Some have very strong mentality. Some are very sensitive. So be mindful. If you if they are really your friends, you you will surely be knowing the yeah. mental condition of your friend. So you know, just be mindful of, of, about the way you approach your friends, and yeah, just stick it out. Stick be there for one another. Yeah. I would say. And Alpo, how mm -hmm. do you concentrate in class? Like for me, it's really hard to do it in <sighs> summer. So how do you do it? Very good question. <laughs> <laughs> so my unprofessional <laughs> So my unprofessional opinion from my personal experience would be like, you know, trying my best, even if it's hard to uh, give a hundred percent concentration on the teacher. And if you are my classmate or my subject my subject teacher they will be knowing that i yap a lot <laughs> so I, yep <laughs> I mean like i don't hesitate to ask questions to my teachers because what's the point of you know feeling yeah, shy i think what's that's the a very of, good happy to have okay. what's the point of holding back when you're going to die out of curiosity curiosity kills the cat yeah so, and you know you're going it. to be dumb for once no yes. but you're going to be smart for the rest of your life on that particular uh thing you're you are curious about yes if you don't ask your teachers, you are you're going to look smart for once in your life, but you're going to be dumb forever. For real. And the fact that like uh, when you ask, when you ask this kind, when you raise questions during your class hours, the teachers are going to like literally fall in love with you. You're yeah, going to be the teacher's you know, pet. Uh, one of the best thing I like about that job, I mean, almost all the students will agree on this, but it, uh, it's that we have the best faculties Yes, one of the best faculties I would say in uh, yeah, in, in college. They they always go out of their way to help us, mm -hmm. and I think that's so you know so warm, and I, yeah. I feel very connected to the college because of our professors. Mm. One of the beauty about uh, the Tetsu community is that there are a lot of stereotypes that yeah. goes around uh, that goes around institutions and people, but when you and once you enter the gate of Tetsu College. You're equal, like we are family. 
Yeah. That's the thing I love about the Tattoo College. Like, you treat one another as your own. You don't. You don't. You don't look upon the status. You don't look upon the um, influences that they have on people. But you are looking at them as students. Yes. And that's something really, you know, beautiful. Yeah. That's... Even I was very skeptical about joining the college because mm -hmm. of the rumors mm -hmm. and the stereotypes we have. But you know, it didn't take even uh, a semester for me to change my opinion on the college. Mm. The, by the first semester, uh, my opinion on this college was so positive because of the people here, mm. because of the friends I met here, because of the teachers, because of the infrastructure, and everyone. Everyone here is just great. Mm. And the teachers are always like pushing us forward. Yeah. yeah. And they're always going to certain extents. I mean, like, look at us, we got internship from the first semester. That's so, so great. like, and even today, uh, we're I'm already in my third semester, and like my teachers now from the depart from my department, they're always willing to you know, uh, search for us the internship. They're always willing to approach people. Uh, they're always asking us where do we want internship. Yeah. And then if we tell them the institution or the studio, they're going and approaching them. I mean, that's <sighs> so much love. Who does that? <laughs> who does that? And yeah how like for me you know like um giving my concentration to the teacher and if i think that i have too much going on on my mind i drink water water uh, to, to cool, cool down now. to cool down my That's body a good solution yes. that way i can like you know like just feel the coolness of water and just mentally be able to concentrate in the classroom what about you though uh i drink my friend's water <laughs> I have a friend, her name is Kechi from our department. Mm -hmm. She, as soon as I reach the classroom, she will hand me her water bottle <laughs> for me to drink it. Because walking the stair, walking the stairs, our mm -hmm. classes are always in F floor. So mm -hmm. it's like, you get dehydrated easily. But also in class, I like to give my full concentration on the teacher. Mm -hmm. Like 100% because sometimes our mind work in a very funny way. When you concentrate on one thing, you don't get the gist of what's happening around you. Sure. So that's how I cope with classes in summer. Mm. What about exams? I don't <sighs> like studying in summer. It's like, yeah, it oh, is, too much. It is kind of hard to concentrate for exams in summers. And our internals are um, approaching. Mm. But it all depends upon your determination. True, like true. if you're really determined, if you're really consistent on achieving something, um, once you give your hundred percent of concentration, you're gonna forget about everything that's happening to you, and that's what I do. Uh, when I when I'm studying, mm -hmm. when I'm studying, and when I think I have to uh, get through this, even if the world is crumbling to an end, I'm not moving from my place. <laughs> I'm that's not great. leaving my book. I'm going to be like studying and like getting through that completing that syllabus or like that certain topic that's wow <laughs> that's admirable really yeah <laughs> i don't know there's something very weird but yeah how about you though uh, i how hate you... studying actually i like to pay attention in class and then i like to watch youtube videos on mm. it that's it the thing is uh, paying attention in the classroom, like I said, when you raise questions, you understand that topic better. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the first time explanation and the second time the way the teacher explained according to your understanding, it's different. You digest it, you like nourish it, and it's like well stuck mm. on your mind. So when you're going through your topics and you come across that certain topic that you asked to your teacher about, you recall it. Yeah. So that's the beauty about asking your teachers. If you're shy, if you're an introvert and you know, like you don't want to rate, you don't want to be the center of attraction by asking questions to your teacher, you can always go to the staff room during your free classes, mm. during your break hours, ask them about it or Or you can always email them. Yes. The the email, WhatsApp, a phone. I mean like the teachers are always there, like I said, always willing to help. They're just willing for you. They will never know. say no. Yes, they'll never say no. It be it from the slightest to the, no matter how big yeah. or no matter how small the favor may be, they will always uh, give you suggestions and they will always be ready to, you know, like to quench your curiosity. So yeah, I guess like being a student is not easy, not only the students, but even the faculties, because for us, we are going back at home, chilling, doing our assignments, but for the teachers, they'll have to go back and prepare for their next classes. Yeah. 
and that's so being us uh, you know like having smart classes in most of the classrooms the teachers they prepare their presentations so imagine trying to you know work your mind in this head on a presentation sometimes because of connectivity issue come sometimes of technical and issues and sometimes you meet you bang your classes you must bang your classes mm. and the teachers have no uh, other choice but mm. to postpone their lectures after all the hard work they yes. did i think that's so bad yeah that's that's very mean that's not so green flag of you <laughs> So yeah, like in this heat, I feel like watching out for one another, being there for one another, it's really important as taking care of yourself. Yes. So yeah, that I guess that will be the end of our mm. podcast. But yeah, you can give them a spoiler, I guess. Yeah. We are planning to uh, stay tuned because we are planning to uh, show you around, show you the famous Janamik stall. The and our dadas are so good. So friendly and so yeah. dramatic. I mean, like most of the Tetsu students will, Tetsu community will, will know how. Will agree on it. Yeah, will agree and then will. So, and we we are also planning to see, uh, show you varieties of people. Varieties. <laughs> to show the diversity in the college because yes. I think we have um, so many students coming to our college. Mm -hmm. Like different people, different tribe, different states. Yes. People are coming to Nakalan, coming here in order to get knowledge, their degrees. And I think yes. that's great. And we'll show you guys. Yeah, uh, we will try. Uh, we will try to have a conversation with every student, if possible. No, yeah. that will, I mean, I mean, suggest us not so that we can do it for you. Either if you want an individual student or like uh, together and see the whole faces of diversity in Tetsu College, we can even. Uh, maybe give you a glimpse of their traditions Hoy, attire yes, that's great so yeah um like subscribe and share it to your five of your friends if you want to be cool like us and <laughs> pass not, your internals and, and pass your internals if not just subscribe <laughs> bye. Just subscribe. bye